Hey guys, Tonster back. Got a uh, video for you today uh, of the concrete pour that we did. Um, it's 35,000 square feet. Uh, that is the size of the addition that we're doing here in Roseburg, Oregon. Uh, I own a company called H3 General Contractors and uh, we do bigger commercial projects. And so this pour started about midnight and uh, there were 77 10 yard trucks. Um, of concrete and I had two pumps going and I'm just trying to kind of give you an overview of what's going on here on one end of the building you see the white at the far end of the building as I'm moving my camera sorry about that uh, that section is where we've got cooling blankets because it's about 100 degrees today and you've got to keep that concrete cool until it actually has enough strength to live on its own so usually that's between three and seven days i'm probably going to cure it for seven days just to be on the safe side in this case but uh, there's a lot of coordination that goes into a pour like this i started my night about 11 o'clock didn't get done uh, until morning time and then I had uh, at one, my old boss actually came and and oversaw the rest of the pour while I went to the office and did some paperwork. I came back to the job. This is about 11 o'clock in the morning, I think. Um, and so it's not quite hot yet. But as you can see, they're uh, laying the blankets out there right behind the saw cut machines, which those saw cut machines... Uh, what they do they'll cut the concrete in order to keep it uh, so it cracks where you want it to now here in front of you you see these riding trowels and the walk behind trowels those are actually gonna burn the concrete in and keep it give it a nice polished look and you can see on the video where it's black basically and where it's black that means it's already burned in so they've got um, several riding trowels we had about 10 guys and a laser screed which I will show you guys video later of that during the night of the pour but it's kind of lower quality footage because it is actually cell phone footage and of course it's nighttime but we had lights up and you can kind of see those lights off to the right here but this is just a quick overview and of course um, a lot of people involved we had about 25 people involved maybe more if you count the truck drivers but there were about 25 people involved in this 35,000 square foot pour so you'll you'll see I'm coming up towards the end of the footage here and uh, you'll just see the trees up here and I just kept that in because I think it's just amazing trees look amazing with drone footage I, I don't know what it is but I just love it so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I will keep posting videos on this content as this is taking the majority of my time. I slept about six hours in the last 60 at this point while I'm flying the drone. Uh, but I uh, appreciate you guys watching and we will catch up with you guys next time.